Voices from the Other World. Presently at our touch the teacup stirred, then circled lazily about from A to Z. The first voice heard, if they are voices, these mute spellers out, was that of an engineer originally from Cologne. Dead in his 22nd year of cholera in Cairo, he had known no happiness. He once met Goethe, though. Goethe had told him, persevere. Our blind hound whined. With that, a horde of voices gathered above the Ouija board, some childish, and you might say blurred by sleep. One little boy named Will, reluctant possibly in a rough like a large lidded page out of El Greco, pulled back the arras for that next voice, cold and portentous, all is lost, flee this house, Otto von Turnen Taxis, obey, you have no choice. Frightened we stopped, but tossed till sunrise striped the rumpled sheets with gold. Each night since then the moon waxes, small insects flit round a cold torch we light that sends them pattering to the porch, but no real sign. New voices come, dictate addresses begging us to write, some warn of lives misspent, and all of doom in ways that so exhilarate, we are sleeping sound of late. Last night the teacup shattered in a rage. Indeed, we have grown nonchalant towards the other world. In the gloom here, our elbows on the cleared table, we talk and smoke pleased to be stirred rather by buzzings in the jasmine, by the drone of our own voices and poor blind rovers wheeze, than by those clamoring overhead, obsessed or piteous, for a commitment we still have wit to postpone, because once looked at, lit by the cold reflections of the dead, risen extinct, but irresistible. Our lives have never seemed more full, more real, nor the full moon more quick to chill.